Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're new here. And today we're gonna to go for a little mooch round the Cancer Research Superstore. Not gonna lie, my fit is slaying possibly too hard for a charity shop. I am going out for lunch with my dad later because it's his 60th birthday today. I did invite him to come on this charity shopping journey, but he is getting on the exercise bike. But I'll show you my fit when we get there. Um, but let's go see what we find in the superstore. We're here. I think I have taken you guys here before. Um, it is in it is in Hips Hill in Atherton. And it is in my new local superstore. Let's go in. I'll ask it as you walk in. Um, but this is the space. It's very big. Um, I'm going to look through the clothes first. And then we'll go up to the back and do that section. I was kind of busy. I'm going to go and actually do the jumpers first, not my new jumpers, and I've just actually put away my jumpers. Um, but look, just in case, we also have some long sleeves here as well. It's kind of fun. Um, I still am finding it's a bit of like a mixed bag. I find with shops that are like outlets, um, so everything in here is five pounds or less. Oh, I hate when that happens. That a lot of the stuff is either like vintagey but like a bit quirky, so people aren't really necessarily if you're shopping in the main cancer research shop might not find something that's for you but then also a lot of like cheaper brands and um, like primark and Chien and stuff that maybe haven't been put out on the shop floor and then are, are taken here but yeah that's kind of my overall consensus at the moment like, you do get a lot of like older brands but in a good like mix of like supermarket as well this is quite a fun little f and f top my issue is I don't really want to buy winter stuff now because I don't know what I'm going to be into come winter because I'm, my style is changing really quickly. But that is really sweet and like last year I probably would have got that. But also I'm not too sure about the detail on the sleeve but it is cute. I'll quickly show you guys the fit. Sunnies, boots out, earrings, gifted, crafting that. Top was from this cat's research actually a couple of weeks ago. Belt is from Havens. Skirt is from Friesen Vintage in Prague. Got my rocket dog gifted sandals and then my shelter tote. Oh, and also my choker is from the shelter event I went to the other day where they were upcycling rag. Don't think I've locked it. Um, I'll put you on Instagram reel. Look in the trouser jeans section. I actually got jeans from here last time and turned them into jorts. Um, I don't know what I going to wear today, but then I decided for a skirt instead. So I got the maxis. I'm tending to go from like a size 14 onwards when I'm looking around at the moment. It's a nice little summer. Oh, it's like a clot jumpsuit. This is stunning. Fully beaded vintage dress, five pounds. So another thing you find often in outlets is um, like really occasion wear dresses. Oh, this dress I actually tried on at a swap. Who remembers that vlog from last year? Was it last year, maybe the year before? This is pretty as well. This is very mum coded. She loves her high neck. Also, I'm looking for mum for a dress for the wedding. I'm not sure where I'll find that here. Oh, dungarees. This is a fun fact. I do really want, like, blue dungarees, but I think I could settle for a £5. I just don't know how much wear I'd get out of them. I might try these on. Another really lovely even dress here. It's more like a vintage style. Let's see where she's from. Oh, she's actually from Roman. That kind of shocks me. I was expecting her to be more vintage. What is this? This looks quite cute. It's a nice little holiday number. I might also try that on. That's five pounds. I am started packing for my holiday. I'm going to Spain. So I am looking for summery stuff too. Walk back and get a trolley. Luckily they have
you can get to the charity shops and find them before they become mainstream. The good thing about this shop is I've actually got quite a good size range. Um, that's fun, very Barbie coded. Um, yeah, I've got quite a good size range, which is really nice to see. Um, like I'm not struggling to find my sizes. Obviously, I'm still only like a size 16, but they do seem to go up um, and have multiple options in bigger sizes. Oh, I feel like I looked at this last time. I think it's just a bit too, a bit too white, okay, you know? Snake print, lots and lots of snake print. This is quite like Y2K coded, but I feel like a bit too much. This looks nice and comfy. If only that was like a, um, like a play seat, that'd be really fun and comfy for summer, for like chilling around the house. Oh my gosh, is that meant to be a dress? It's very short, but it's be quite fun for work. I don't really dress up that much for work, whether that would be quite fun. Maybe like some red trousers or something. Really nice little dress. Not my style, but really, really cute. I like that a lot in with the tops. I used to be wear, just check all the sections. I think I've seen quite a lot of like short dresses in the tops. So just something there to bear in mind. Really like tie back and tie top top. I think it would be too risky for me, but I do really like it. I'm tempted to try it on. But I just think maybe for someone else that can probably fit into it with less likelihood of a nip slip. Um and a lot in these shops as well is micro trends but these like exposed stitching brightly colored mop tops were all a big trend a couple of years ago and i'm seeing quite a few of them in the in the uh trousers recently that's quite fun just a um prime up top that's quite fun Love the summer dress, only Primark initially. Um, that's super nice. Gorgeous vintage Dorothy Perkins dress. It's giving complete 90s goodness. I really like that. But I don't really need another max dress. Oh no. Sad that this isn't in my size because it's really, really cute. This is absolutely lovely. Only HM initially got a little tie back. And little frilly sleeves, it's really nice and really heavy. It feels good quality, which is rare for like a fast fashion brand. Um, not getting it, I don't need it, but I do like it. I do kind of want a cover up. I've got a couple of beach cover ups, so I just never really found the right one. So I, it's something I'm looking for. Lots of things falling off their hangers. Um, I am trying to put them back on when I see them. Um, but yeah, and this pattern from pretty little thing and cider I thought it was huge a couple of years ago saw um Jordan Badger's girlfriend wear it who's like an influencer I saw her wear it first and then just saw everywhere in like the corset and the dress that's very fun and yellow this has been this since the opening I feel like no one can work out how it goes um I love the pattern on it but yeah it just looks like a funny shape also very much giving Barbie a pat on the back very fun but I don't really have an occasion for these sort of dresses anymore of the shape of the skirt. I don't know that would look really, really nice on, but I'm not so keen on the grey stripes. Also, guys, I haven't eaten breakfast. I felt it was a bit ricky because I'm now feeling ill. Should have probably eaten breakfast before I came, but here we are. The car is filling up. I'm going to check through the jackets. And they've got some more clothes over there. Um, just at the shoes currently. I saw these last time. I thought these would be really nice for the wedding if they didn't have that um, stiletto -y heel, if they had more like a block heel. I am struggling for shoes. I've got some, but I just don't love them. I've got some boots here, they're a fiver. Let's look at the jackets. Again, not that it's jacket weather, but let's just have a peruse. This is a really interesting fabric. I'm not sure it picks up so much on camera, but it looks a lot more green in person, but on the camera it's picking up blue, but it's got a reflective, kind of mermaidy material. This is a blazer that had a matching pair of trousers. I did try it on last time I came here, but it didn't fit quite right, but the blazer was cute. Another little pinstripe, new look blazer. Lots of super cute vintage sandals and shoes. Right, let's go over to this section. Just like the middle section is just a couple of top rails in colour order. Let's have a little peruse on these. I don't know if they pick out their like favourite stuff to go on here or what, what, but it's nice. Kind of less overwhelming than the giant rails. I'm gonna go quickly look through the men's stuff. 
I've also got lots of toys and that out. I'm not going to look through them today. Like, LV has enough toys. But yeah, I'm going to look through the men's t shirts and things. And um, I've got a lot of them. I've got a lot of games. Almost wobbly bobbly. Wobbly bobbly. Wobbly. 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 Why do I call it wobbly bobbly? I used to have the same as a kid. It was a great game back in my youth. And they've got lots and lots of games and puzzles. You know what this is. Uh, it's like a shelf. It's very cool. It's actually coming up pretty blue on here. It's actually more green in real life. It's really random, but I love it. Let's go to the brick rack and see what we can find. It was not quite a big new good section, I'm not gonna go through that today. Um, but I got a under the seat bag from here, which is great, because it can be quite expensive, buy them on Amazon and whatever. And I got them for, I think it was eight, nine, nine, which is really good. Um, but right, let's look through the brick rack. We've got it kind of sorted in color, so. This little plate bowl thing is very cute. It's a little dish. Um, lots and lots of baking stuff, obviously mugs. There is loads of, as always. I like them. They're really lovely. Little um, storage containers. And we've got a Wallace mug. That my dad would like. Oh, is that Gromit? Which one's which? That's Gromit, isn't it? I don't know. I'm saying that's Gromit. That's my guess. My final guess. I'm sniffling the whole way through. Apologise. I feel like I am getting hay fever and I've not taken any antihistamine today, so that's why. Gold frame. Super. We have electricals in here, but they've not got many at the moment, but yeah, they do have electricals here. If you're looking for something giant bim, which I think might be like Amazon returns. Um because oh, yeah. it's ginormous and really, really, really random. But I think it must be like an Amazon return situation. Because there is no rhyme or reason to it, but I mean I'm not gonna dig for it, but that is also here if you feel like you want something. Like, like this, it might be good for like stocking fillers and stuff like that. I know we're not in the season, but when we eventually get to the season, I feel like that will be we'll probably find some good stocking fillers in here. Cover bottles for a pound, it's quite good. Um, yeah, random. One thing we have got in here, which is rare for a charity shop nowadays, is a changing room. So let's try on what I picked up. I'll show you what I'm trying on. Also, I'm not wearing my practical outfit for this, so I wish me luck. So here is the first thing. Um, I do really like this. Back, I'd have to wear a strapless bra. But then it really, really shows, and it's like too see through of a material to wear no bra. Um, but it is quite cute. Guys, if you've been following along my Instagram story, you'll know about the whole Guitar Heroes debacle where they're playing one of the Guitar Heroes songs. Me and Dad might be going to my sister's to finally pick up the Guitar Hero thing and the dongle I need. And it just seems like fate they're playing this song, you know? Here are the dungarees. They actually do fit really quite well. If I was a painter, I'd get these and do art in them, but I'm not a painter and just don't feel like I would reach for them. Um, it's not really my thing, but. It's kind of fun that I found them. If they were denim, then I would obviously if I adjusted the straps that sat a little bit more high waisted and adjusted these, that could look pretty fun. Um, but I just don't need them. Can someone please tell me who this dress was made for? Because who wants a cutout on your underwear line? Unless I put this on completely wrong, which I don't think I have. I don't. I don't understand it. Here is the dress. It's a little bit too big. But I thought it would look quite cute actually if it would fit right, but. Leave it for someone else. Hope they'll find find it and love it. I tried these kind of for a joke. And from the side, I think really cute. I hate the detail here, but I mean, they are kind of bad. I'm tempted to get them for home. But I don't really need any more home clothes. But I don't like the way they kind of fit here, but very fun. So I'm actually not going to pick up anything, but I love the things I tried on. I'm looking to normalise going charity shopping, not buying anything. In fact, we've done that more this year than I ever have done before. Like, there was multiple things that I liked, but nothing I loved. So, I don't want to bring things into my life I don't love because I've got so much stuff in vintage, it just seems like such a waste for me to own stuff I'm not going to wear. So, I left some bits for people, but yeah, let's go home. I'm going to pop to the high street um, and I found this space in the high street and I do. So, it's a that's going. The uh, Marie Curie here always pulls through. This dress looks like a house of CB droop. I mean, obviously, the boot pocket's are tiny, but I feel like I may have to try her on. Little vintage blazers in here. Look at these. This one's so cute. Bath from Disney. I think Emma got it for me. Well, three quarter length leggings, like capris. Well, it's got them in pink as well, which is quite fun. But I'm just not sure how often I'd style them. So I'm going to leave them. These shoes are so cute. Love them. Well, these are nice as well. This dress so much, my boobs really don't fit in it. Like, how is that the link for the boot pocket? But 
I have to make sure I'm getting it anyway because it is really cute and like just to make myself my boobs don't fit in it but also I think in winter if I laid like a black top underneath it like a black long sleeve and have this over the top then it wouldn't matter so much my boobs don't fit in and also she's just like she's so cute I think I think she's coming home with me she's so cute she's really flattering on the waist so we hate the word flattering but she is love I don't know why the cute fit has been slightly ruined because the zip broke on my top while I was trying to put it back on after getting changed so i've just been in maricure i got the dress and i'm gonna go home now because my top might burst open at any second so i made it home without my top breaking just very good um but that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it let me know what your favorite piece you spotted was down below subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in my next one bye